Hi everybody, I'm here for a video about little planners. So what you'll see here, um, we're going to be talking about Nanos from Chic Sparrow. I've got a couple of different ones. I have these four and this one are uh, number zeros from Foxy Fix, which some people call a micro. This is a number one from Foxy Fix, which is a passport. And this is a number two from Foxy Fix, which is a pocket or a field note size. Um, some people wanted to know differences regarding size, um, and I've got quite a variety. Okay, so now that you can see all of the beautiful colors and covers, I'm going to see if I can slide them. Ooh, make sure I move my coffee cup out of the way a bit. And I even have a ruler over here on the side. So these are the four sizes, and these are what I call the smallest functional notebooks. Um, and people use them for quite a variety of different ways. So the first, or let's start with the smallest insert in the Nano. Chic Sparrow is the company that I know of that makes the Nano insert. So we have a, just so you can see, it's a um, Stedler ruler, and it has the um, American system of inches on this side, and then it has the system that everyone else in the world uses, the metric system over here. So the first insert that we are going to measure is the Nano, and we're going to go height first. So you'll see we are three. Actually, you can't see because there's such a strong glare. Three and three-fourths, three and three-fourths high by two and three-fourths. And I think that that's the measurement you get on the Chic Sparrow web page. Now, the next insert is this, and this is a micro. Uh, we'll, we'll write micro or what Foxy Fix calls it. They call it a number zero. So let's start with the height. We have it four by three. Four by three. The next insert we have is Passport, which Foxy Fix calls their number one. Now, Foxy Fix doesn't have a nano. The micro or the number zero is their smallest insert. So, Passport is roughly five. The Passport by um, Midori, the creators of the size, is actually 4.9. Um, and three and a half. So five by three and a half. And the last size we're going to talk about is the field note size. So this one is five and a half wide. Oh, let's write it down. So we'll say it's, it's field notes. Chic Sparrow calls it a pocket. And Foxy Fix calls it a number two. So it's known by those three names. And so it's five and a half. And the width should be three and a half. So that's the basic size of our inserts. The smallest one, the Nano, three and three fourths by two and three fourths. The Micro, four by three, the passport five by three and a half, and the field notes five and a half by three and a half. And this is what they look like when you stack them all up. Nano, micro, passport, 
pocket or field notes. Nano, number zero, number one, number two. Now, the traveler's notebooks that you can get are a little bit different. And um, the one thing is the Chic Sparrow notebooks all are identical. There's no way you can modify them. Um, let's see, we'll pick this one since you can see it. So this is a Chic Sparrow in the Mr. Darcy Toffee and it has been well used. I used it for my wallet for some time and then the husband used it for his wallet sometimes. So this is the Toffee and one thing you'll notice with the Nano is they have one piece of elastic that goes through two holes. So yes, it does give you two elastics, but this one is not functional, um, just by because of the sheer size of the insert. Chic Sparrow makes dashboards and credit card inserts that you can use in here. A lot of people use this as their wallet. Now, one thing that is quite nice about the um, Chic Sparrow is the size of the cover. Let's show this this one. Or actually, no, let's do this one since it's what I was using for a while. This is a Mr. Darcy in ink. So you'll see they all have the same curved pockets. They all have one elastic. I think this one, this was the Mr. Darcy in the Tenerife Sea that they turned into an Odyssey. So I, for the life of me, cannot remember the color. I remember wanting one of them in the personal and passport and pocket size, but every time I wanted to order one, they were out of stock. So I ordered a Nano. So I was able to get <laughs> the color that I wanted since it's not available anymore. Um, and so they've distressed it a little bit, but it's the exact same size. And one thing that's nice to know is you can actually fit, let me take, do I have? Yes, I have in here in this Foxy Fix. Um, I can take a, a Foxy Fix micro dashboard and one insert and I can put it on that elastic and look at that, it fits perfectly. Yes, it does come right up to the edge, but if you needed to carry like a, like, like, um, a little notebook or a calendar that's a little bit bigger, this is just a dot grid I made. Um, and you can put all of your cards and stuff in here. So that's something that you can do, but it won't fit any more than one insert because of the size of the insert. So that lets you know that the Nano closed is four by three. So that lets you know that. Um, so that is the Nano. Now you can, if you have Nano specific inserts, here is my Fern Nano that I used for March as my wallet until I got my um, ink, you can fit three inserts in there. And you can also then fit all of your cards and stuff in here if you want to use it as a wallet. You could, you know, have a calendar, you could have one for lists, you can have another insert for other options. So that is the smallest of the sizes. And since I know someone will ask, Let's go over the leathers. I did have a few others, but I wanted to downsize to my favorites that I love. So this is the Pemberley Fern. This is the Odyssey, which is the Tenerife Sea, which I wanna say it's Hera, which Greek God, I don't know. Um, this is the Mr. Darcy in the toffee. This is the Mr. Darcy in the ink. And this one is the Outlander in the uh, Time Traveler, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty blue. And this one the husband used quite a bit, but he's in a different thing right now. So that is Chic Sparrow, and that is the 
Nano. When we go to the Foxy Fix land for the number zero or the micro, we actually have a few different styles and sizes. Um, and when I say sizes, I mean number of elastics. So let's go with this one first. This is a leather that they don't make anymore, the, or, or make notebooks out of anymore. This is the licorice leather, and um, it is from the Wonderlust line. And you'll notice this is a single elastic. Um, single elastic like the Chic Sparrow, but there's no pockets, and you'll also notice that it's larger. So that is one option. And you could get them with stitching, without stitching. Um, and you can also get them with a um, single, like, little secretarial pocket. I don't have any like that. Um, I thought of ordering one like that, but, but I haven't. And I have enough, so I don't think that will be something that I order. So that is the first type you get. Now, the second type you can get is... Like this one here. This has, let me get that extra elastic out of there, has the new style crisscross pockets, but you'll see it is flat and it has the reinforced spine. So this has four elastics. So you can fit quite a bit of inserts in there and you can fit your cards and other items in the pockets. So there's that. The next one, so you had a single elastic, four elastics. The next one, these two are of the same style. They're just different leathers. This one, let me get that elastic out of there, has the same crisscross pockets and the same four elastics, except you'll see it has this back pocket. This is what they call a folio TN, because you can, you know, do that. So they call this a folio TN. This is just a TN. And then here is the same thing. I've been using this one as my wallet. There's got some receipts in there. Um, and again, you can see how it's got four elastics, I just don't have something on the last elastic. But it has a Foxy Fix dashboard, a monthly calendar, and a dot grid insert. We're rearranging the rooms, <laughs> so that's why that's there. So these two are the same, just a different leather. Same back pocket, same back pocket. Now, something that's a little bit different is this white one over here. So this is what they call the single elastic. This is called the compact. I do have one wide. Let me set those over here. This is what they call the wide. Oops, got a pretty little Himalayan salt um, sample in there. Very pretty pink. Um, you'll notice this has one two, three, four, five. This has six elastics, and this has the little secretarial pockets, and it also has the reinforced spine. So it's kind of like a mix between the, the two. And the reason it has the reinforced spine is because of how thin and flexible the leather is. So, just so you can see the difference. Get the elastic out of the way. This is one and a quarter inch. This is one and a half inch. I think that's how they measure it. Yep, one and a quarter, one and a half. And then just so you can compare let me take the insert out because that bulks it up. Just so you can also see the difference in the width of them. We have them all lined up on the edge. Seven and a half, eight and a quarter, 
nine. So that's the width of the notebooks. So that is the micro size uh, notebook from Foxy Fix. And this is the size I think that I'm going to use for One Book July. For years and years and years and years, I have used the size that we're going to talk about now. This is the passport size. Let me put my notebook back in so you can really see it. Um, I actually used this notebook for One Book July last summer, and that's because um, towards the end of June, beginning of July, we were on our honeymoon, which we had never <laughs> taken, <laughs> even though we'd been married for almost two years. So I needed to use this so I could, you know, use it as, carry it with me as a wallet, um, but also, you know, use it for other things. So this is just the standard passport that you can get from Foxy Fix. It is the folio style. It has the reinforced spine. This is the spice leather, so you can see it's very thin. That's why it has the reinforced spine. That's why it has the pocket behind it as well. So that is the passport, or the number one. And the last size we have here is the uh, number two, or the pocket. Now this is a size that I used for quite some time and have a lot of uh, notebooks in this size from other makers, um, but I actually have got started to get rid of them, but I I only have a couple, a couple of Chic Sparrows and, a, and this one from Foxy Fix. Um, but I had been using this as an art journal, and I even had Brie um, from Documented Journey make me an insert for it. And I think this is why they call it a folio, is because, you know, you can stick in large inserts in the pocket and it still functions. So you'll see what I have in here is a dashboard, a monthly calendar, a field notes grid, a Keeley Reckman zipper pouch with some stuff, a insert that I made full of varieties of thicknesses of paper, and then Breeze insert in the back. So that is the pocket. This is the one most people are common is a common one and that they're associated with. So just so you can see the difference between the different sizes. So here you can see the different sizes. The pocket or field notes or number two size, the passport or number one size. This is the um, micro or the number zero size. And then this one on top is the Nano from Chic Sparrow, just so you can see a little bit about the height and width of them. And these are all compact, so they only have four elastics. I am not a big fan of a big, fat, chunky little notebook, because um, it won't fit in my pocket very well. So there you go. I just wanted to share with you a quick little look at my favorite sizes, the Nano Micro Passport Pocket. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.